why are you running for governor and what are your main platforms? Well, I'm running for governor because I know I can make a big difference in this state. I'm not a career politician. In fact, this is the first race of a purely political nature I've, I've ever been involved with. I've been elected to things before, like class president and chairman of the board and president of companies and that sort of thing, but I've never run for public office. I held a quasi-public office, I guess you'd call it, when I served as a chairman of the Democratic Party in Cahoma County back in the 70s into the early 80s. But I can make a difference for this state. I have a, a background that while I didn't do anything in my life with the idea in mind of ever running for public office, when my, when my now team sort of size me up for the run and, and look for my strengths and weaknesses and things you do and when you self-assess you look backwards a little bit and think okay where have I been what have I done where am I coming from and what does that do to help get me ready to take on a, another job and uh, my life has been involved mostly in practicing law and business development as an entrepreneur in creating small, in creating jobs, I'm, I guess I'd qualify as a small businessman uh, with a number of business ventures I've been involved with, and in, in trying to revitalize a, a Delta town, I uh, have a great interest in in history and architecture and saving old buildings. I've served on some statewide organizations that have given me a good overview of what you need in this state. And then I, I, I kind of coupled that with a, a paper I wrote years ago in college. I was a major, as I said, in American government at the University of Virginia. And I wrote a paper about the cycle of poverty in Mississippi and how we were then number one in poverty in terms of per capita income. We were number 50 in education in terms of state by state rankings on the national level. And I, I started doing a speech some years ago at the request of a friend to deliver to a group down on the coast. And it sort of turned into a civic club speech I've been asked to do now over a hundred times about the Mississippi Delta. But in that speech I quote Fannie Lou Hamer's well-known catchphrase, I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. And, and then at the urging of some friends who asked me to consider running for governor, I started just making that self-assessment. And it led me to the belief that I'm prepared for this job and I can make a big difference. I want to uh, get this state off the bottom. It hasn't been done yet. It's just got to be done because not only are we hanging at number 50, we're actually losing some ground to number 49. And I just think we are a lot better group of folks than to let that happen. But I know to do it, we've got to all pull together. Young, old, black, white, everybody has got to get on the same page and move, move us forward.